So an expansion where we could get playable materials and possibly the Naga, where we could get the fabled Goblin City of Undermine that we thought was long lost, as well as a whole new planet, the Dark Planet of Kalesh, the homeworld of materials consumed by the Void, and now possibly their stronghold. We know the materials are back, they have been fighting the Void since forever, and who better to help us than them, and we know they have been observing us in Dragonflight. Furthermore, we have some interesting features mentioned in this leak, such as Heretikron causing a new character that could trigger a whole revamp and Ashara bringing back the Void, this time heavily empowered. Additionally, we could return to the forgotten Goblin City of Undermine on Kazan that we know has heavy presence of Azrite, which would perfectly tie in with the theme of Azroth Awakening. What is all this information? Is there some truth to this leak? And what could be 11.0 about? While we're getting ready for the next expansion, there is no other way to get prepared better for WoW than U.GG, especially as the new patch is coming coming out in a few days. You can very easily find tier lists to find the classes that perform best as DPS, healers, tanks, and not only for rating and medic plus, but also for PvP. Now, this isn't just some random guy's opinion, all of this is based on the hard data from the very best WoW players, and you can also find the most optimal builds for whatever class you're playing. For example, check out the Fury Warrior that I've been playing for over a decade, what is the most well-performing build, you can find the most optimal gear, best in slot, enchants, gems, trinkets, all with a single click of a button with a really straightforward and easy to use UI. So make sure to click on the link in the description, check out u.gg and optimize your performance for 10.1.7 completely free. The only reason I'm using the name Voidstorm is because it is what the supposed leak is called, but let's be real, I mean, this is some random kind of forum, it's not like we data mined info from some Blizzard employee, however, he may actually be onto something here, as there is actually evidence for some of these features that he's mentioning, despite the fact that I honestly don't really think this is a Blizzard employee. So, the premise of this leak is the expansion will be an island one, a pirate one, with the main focus of it being about Queen Ashara and her supposed void storm that she's bringing upon Azeroth and Eredikon destroying things with the fury of Galakrond, but the main overarching theme is the void and the void invasion. The world soul is in the midst of a huge nightmare and is just about to be woken up which causes a massive disturbance naturally. Troll returns as a world shaman together with the earthen ring to calm the elemental spirits because we know the world soul of Azeroth is elemental as was recently hinted at by official blizzard information. Supposedly the expansion will feel Feature the ethereals and a new underwater playable race, dragon riding being underwater, as well as islands, playable ships, and a few other changes. Now, let's dig into this. Let's start from the beginning. As while this may really just be fanfiction, there is actual evidence to support some of these, and some of these features could actually be realistic. First of all, we have pretty much legit proof that Queen Ashara is returning. I mean, we know something is going on with her, Zalatad, the Harbinger. She is supposed to return from the Veil of the Void. We had seen the presence of the Naga recently. I mean, this is already old news, nothing still came of it, which almost certainly means that this is being saved for the next expansion, it wasn't patch content for Dragonflight, as most people at the time said it was, Ashara was never really defeated, she may just be coming as a void and powered version in the near future, like significantly more powerful, possibly old god powerful, this together with Tanaga could feature an entire island type of an expansion, although personally, after BFA I'm not sure how much an island expedition would be fun, or if it would really be what the people are looking for. Honestly, I feel like at this point in time, the world revamp is like the number one requested expansion from most people. One of the new races that this guy mentions is being playable is an underwater one, but I think by all the other proof that we have, most likely, it could actually be Naga, aka the Nazdorai concept that people have previously talked about a few years back. After all, right now we're all about reconciling the Night Hills, we got the Nightborn, the Highborn, so the Naga are really just an offshoot that was stuck in unfortunate and circumstances like all the other offshoots of Night Elves, they couldn't exactly choose whether they wanted to join the old gods when they were drowning, I mean it was not really much of an option, so it is possible a faction could return a faction with two forms that we could have, so a humanoid one, a Naga one, and this could work out super well as we played with Naga back in Warcraft 3 and they're super well established in the lore. 
Now the other thing this leak mentions is this concept of a void storm and Iridicron going crazy all over Azeroth and the world soul of Azeroth being evolved. This is also quite legit as well. We still don't know what Iridicon is up to, we'll probably find out real soon, but something will definitely be going on with the world soul of Azeroth. I mean, this isn't really even speculation anymore. Blizzard said something with the Awakening has been going on, which is why the Dragon Isles appeared. Now, Iridicon wants to finish the job and pay out the titans to come to Azeroth, so we really could be in the midst of a void completion process of finally corrupting Azeroth, doing everything we can to stop it, and of course, as this changes the world soul to the core, the planet would go crazy and we would be in for a new cataclysm, I mean, the actual shattering back in cataclysm was literally just the elemental plane and the material plane, imagine what would happen if whole of Azeroth started waking up, I mean, cataclysm would be nothing in comparison. Troll also perfectly fits into this, I mean, the biggest hint you probably already know is that he was featured on the blizzcon out previously we had jena for bfa savannah's for shadowlands and we also know chris messen returned he's heavily involved and troll is like his avatar trolls most notable role other than the war chief is as a shaman so this would be super relevant however this leak gets into a few features that i actually think are super interesting and heavily supported by the lore and i'm not talking about the underwater dragon item because that really just kind of sounds like nonsense so there's a section that mentions the possible zones first we have the islands tel aviv Hiji, which are all just minor islands and for now the expansions would make sense we know they exist but honestly they're not that interesting in my opinion to be main content Content of the expansion however the real deal is Kalesh the home world of the ethereals and this leak mentions that it will be a new zone later available quite akin to Argus back in Legion and we already have hints for that in Dragonflight right around the start of Dragonflight we discover this coin from a void ethereal known as Shadrin that is related to the locust walker that you may remember back from Legion because this guy is related to void elves well in regards to void elves we have this new shadow of Azeroth map that was updated in the previous patch something is going on with this tiny part of what the last we have this void thing over it for years the coin itself said that he thanks us for the opportunity to observe the information that he gathered was illuminating and this will be his final gift for us for now then in an interview shortly after this blizzard told us that this is all done on purpose we should wait a little while to see them coming now in 10.1.7 ptr we have data mined in ecodome you might remember the ecodomes back from outland however how does this relate to the next expansion and car rash well, Crash is the original homeworld of the Tyrells that was destroyed by the all-powerful Void Lords. This is like an exact parallel on how the Legion destroyed Argus and the Eredar. Same happened to Crash and the Tyrells. However, what is really interesting is that they actually managed to hold off the Void Lord invasion for a bit. Ultimately though, they were destroyed. They have been fighting the Void for countless millennia across the entirety of the cosmos. However, let's get back to the end of Dragonflight. We are probably facing a Void invasion soon. They're coming for the World Soul. So why not ask our acquaintances our friends the ethereals how to defend learn from their mistakes because if anyone can give us the info it is the ethereals plus honestly i really think those brokers are going to end up being related to the ethereals in some way crash may have turned into the main base of the void lords transcended into the void realm and we could literally be going there pretty much how we went to argus and this could be a whole other part of the expansion like in a later patch so maybe there isn't going to be a new hidden continent on azeroth in the the next one but we could literally be going into the new planet which honestly i think would be really interesting i mean think about it we haven't really gone to a new planet since alternate Renor, if you discount argus but even that was nearly eight years ago another super interesting thing this leak mentions is undermine which could be related to these islands and honestly i think all of this would be quite probable kazan's fate has been uncertain since cataclysm we didn't even visit the main area the undermine which is like a huge goblin capital city located in the bowels of mount kajaro what is really interesting is that the most likely theory now and keep in mind this is not speculation not a fan theory this is official blizzard stuff that the entire explosion back in cataclysm happened on mount kajaro because the goblins dug azerite which as we know is the blood of the world soul there could be something crazy going on on kazan like this could be the main entrance to the world soul of azeroth it could also explain why kajamite is found there and how it turned the goblins so intelligent like why on this place exactly there is literally a whole lot of content that could be extracted from this and we could get a new massive goblin city
other than this, the leak mentions the return of the elemental lords, which I also think is very likely as we got so much new elemental stuff. And lately, the followers of Ragnaros had returned in 10.1.7. The leak mentions that most content will become account wide and also that you will have your own ship, which could turn out interesting, but honestly, I do think that would be a little bit of a too risky new feature. The guy also says that dragon riding will turn to underwater as well, which personally, I think may be the stupidest thing possible, which kind of makes this sound a little less legit however he does mention that no new classes or specs will be coming which would make sense if we get two whole new races however with the fact that they introduced a new spec for the drag tier i don't think it is impossible for them to add at least a new spec or two unless they decide to create a whole new brand new class however let's be real i don't think this is an actual leak i mean it is just a forum post that anyone can write however i do think some of these features are legit some more so than the others personally i don't think the whole island stuff would go really well and might get a bit bland and boring but if we really go with the awake of Azeroth, a new type of cataclysm, a huge new capital, travel to a new planet, we could be talking about that return to Azeroth that Blizzard has been talking about with Dragonfight, because let's be real, despite Dragonfight being okay, okay-ish, I mean, the whole expansion really just seems to be foreshadowing for the next one, it isn't really the return to Azeroth that most people expected to see and that Blizzard has been advertising. Thank you for watching, check out who are the two new old gods by clicking on the screen and check out my second channel on Slavic Mythology by clicking on the screen. See you next time.